welcome back. So Pisces, this is going to be your love reading for the month of May. It is a partnership spread, you versus them. And so Pisces, I'm going to pull cards on you, what your hopes, fears, next steps are. Then I'm going to pull cards on the person external to you, what their hopes, fears, and next steps are. Uh, keep in mind, um, these readings are not going to be for all of you, but if it does resonate, please do like, share, and subscribe. Uh, also, it's a general um, reading, and so it can be interchangeable as well, so keep that in mind, okay? Also, check out my social media account links down in the description box below. Thanks. All right, so Pisces, let's see. Love for the month of May. Overall energy uh, for you is the Sun card. Beautiful energy. Also, Leo energy. Some of you might be dealing with a Leo, but not all of you. Um, since this is your overall, I feel like regardless, you're in a very optimistic energy. This is uh, feeling comfortable. Um, feeling comfortable with who you are. For some of you, feeling comfortable and happy with your partner, if you're partnered. Um, and so let me get all of the cards out. I'm going to keep it general to begin with. And then at the end, I'm going to break it down into male and female. So let's see. Person you're dealing with, uh, Pisces has the six of swords, uh, in the upright. And so I feel like this person too is, um, coming back around, um, if they've been emotionally distant, um, for a few of you. Now, if you're not with this person, I do feel a distance here. Okay, this person might uh, be trying to move on, although I think they still feel the pain. Um, and that is if you're not currently with this person. So there's already a few different groups out with only two cards. So I can, like I said, I'm going to keep it general and then I'm going to get really specific at the end. As an overall energy for this person external, it just speaks about moving forward, okay? So, we'll see. Pisces, how do you view the person external to you? Pisces views the person external. Also, I like to wait for my cards to fall out, and generally they fly out of the deck. Uh, for example, one just flew to the other side of the room. If that bothers you, there's plenty of other YouTube readers to check out, because that's how I do it, okay? Um, <laughs> just a side note. Uh, so, how you view them, you have the Knight of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords. Now, in this deck, it has different meanings than a traditional tarot, okay? For those of you who read cards. Um, so in this depiction, uh, the knave of pentacles is someone who is wearing a false mask and this isn't how you view this person. So I do feel like Pisces, you see, uh, behind this person's mask, you know, and it's not always a bad thing. Listen, we all wear masks in life. We do. We play different roles in people's lives. Uh, there's different parts of our personality that we show to some, but not others. Um, and so everybody does this to some degree or another, but I feel like Pisces with this person in particular, you see right through them. You know what I'm saying? Like, so you are not, um, you're able to see to the heart of the intention of the person. Okay. And Pisces is a very intuitive sign. And so that does not surprise me. You also see this person as the nine of swords. This is someone who um, is stressed, you know, anxious, um, you know, they might be someone who allows other people to uh, get into their head somewhat, okay, but I feel like that's the thing about this person, they do allow other people to get into their head, but they try to show the world that they don't care, okay, but I feel like Pisces, you see to the true intention of the person. And so you know that it gets to them. Do you know what I'm saying? Like what they show the world, you are able to see past that. And the, I think this person gives off like this air of like, I don't care what other people think. I'm really confident in who I am and all of that. But, I, you know, deep down inside, there might be some insecurity there. Or that's how you view them. All right. 
Now how this person views you, I only wanted two cards, I got three. <laughs> the Nine of Cups, the Ten of Cups, dang, and then the Two of Wands. Okay, so there's two different groups of here, groups of you here. If you're in a relationship with this person, let me start with you. I feel like this person, you know, they feel absolutely emotionally fulfilled with you. Okay. They are ready to take it to the next level with you as well. You know, even though um, I pick up some anxiety in how you view them, I feel like overall they see you in a very positive light. If you're not with this person. Okay, so this is the other group of you. Um, I feel like this person... I think they did find happiness in the relationship or they saw the potential to take it to the next level. However, right now, they have decided to emotionally distance themselves from you even though I feel like they still pay attention to what you do. <laughs> Particularly if you're a Pisces female. If you're a Pisces male, I feel like that might be your energy. But like I said, I'm going to break it down into male and female at the end. Uh, next steps and most likely outcome for May. Woo. All right, so you have the tower. Okay. The three of swords and the seven of swords. Good Lord. Oh, Pisces. That was unexpected. That might be what I titled this reading. Let me get the other person's cards out. And then uh, I'm going to tell you what I think that means. The external parties. Overall outcome. Or May. <gasps> wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. This got really, really deep. <laughs> so the I only wanted two cards. I got five. The person you're dealing with outcome, King of Swords, Judgment. The Empress, the Lovers, the Tower. Holy cow. This was uh this outcome is somewhat similar to Virgo. The Virgo reading I did, so go check that reading out if you're dealing with a Virgo. If not, and don't worry about it, but that's only going to be a few of you. All right, so towards the end of the May, end of May, you know, there's definitely some instability here. Okay. The Three of Swords is in the reverse, and and so that's a little bit better. I, I just, it's just this overall sense of disappointment. You know, you're not hurt. You're healing from, it's going to be hard to keep it general. You're healing from something that definitely hurt you. Okay. The, um, I feel like in the past, the relationship, if you're in a relationship, might not have been, might not have been so stable, either because of someone outside of the relationship, doesn't have to be cheating, just could be somebody meddling, family, friend, for some of you it was cheating, but we're healing from that now, but yet there's still disappointment, you know, so... Uh, I feel like overall, Pisces, you're the sun energy, which is trying to look on the brighter side, you know, trying to see the optimism. But then towards the end of the month, there is a sinking. There's a sinking feeling or a message here about sinking back into the past. Caution. Now, this person external to you, they are um, in the king of swords energy, it might be an air sign. I got a lot of different signs out, so I'll tell you them all at the end. It doesn't have to be an air sign is what I'm saying. But they're in that energy. So I feel like this person... ...has waited or made you wait a long time... ...to make a decision that they will most definitely be making at the end of the May, and it causes the tower, a shakeup, instability. It's surprising. 
you know, whatever this decision is. And it's something that's been a long time coming. A long time coming. So there's a lot of different ways that this can resonate and I'm going to res I'm going to clarify the tower on both sides. And then I'm going to break it down into male and female. Some of you are definitely dealing with a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. But like I said, I also have Aquarius, Libra, Gemini out. As I say that, I get the sign of Aquarius here. But I have Leo. I have Scorpio out one, two, three times. So this might be some of the placements in their chart if it's one person that you're dealing with. Or it could just be the energy they're embodying. But, um, so seven of swords, please. I got the King of Swords and the Two of Swords. Goodness gracious. Okay. And the Page of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Remember I said somebody's watching? Oh, yeah. For sure. Okay. Um, I'm going to start with Pisces females, and then I'm going to go to Pisces men. Uh, the female messages are stronger. Uh, just keep in mind, whether you're male or female, you could potentially resonate with both groups because it's a general reading. Um, but if you want, you can fast forward to the male part or you can listen to both. Totally up to you. Whatever. Pisces women. Let me start with you. <clears throat> I feel like some of you have been at either an emotional or a physical distance from whoever this is. Okay. Uh, they might have been traveling um, and or, like I said, they have emotionally distanced themselves to some degree or another from you, okay? And uh, I feel like there's two different sets of you here. W one group of you, Pisces women, are no longer with this person. And so I'm going to go into that group first because it's just easier. Pisces women, if you're no longer with this person, they've already moved on. I feel like they took a lot... They, they took a lot of the pain with them, uh, but I feel like they don't show it on the outside. Remember I saw that message here? I think that this person is very good at putting on different masks that they show the world, but you know this person's soul. You know their intentions, okay? Um, you're intuitively aware of who this person really is. So they can show it all they want on the outside, Pisces, but you see it, you know, good or bad. Um... I feel like this person uh, misses you <laughs> um, because they're paying attention to what you're doing. There, you know, there was love there. There was um, happiness, emotional fulfillment. That's how they see you, even though they've distanced themselves from you. Do you know what I'm saying? And so I feel like... This person might be trying to show you or show the world one thing, but deep down inside, it is quite evident that they have a lot of feelings for you. I don't care what they show the world. You know what I'm saying? And I think on an intuitive level, you know this. Um, now, when it gets really interesting, it's towards the end of the month. So, I feel like you both have the tower. You know, and to be quite honest with you, I feel like... Um, you're over here healing from this person, okay? And what you don't see coming is that um, I feel like they are going to be making the decision to come back around to offer hope, to offer love. And that might be very out of character, especially if they've been trying to show you that they feel the opposite of that. So I don't feel like the tower moment is ter is bad. I think it's shocking. <laughs> I think it's shocking to you. Um, particularly if you're dealing with, like I said, an air sign or a Scorpio. 
Aquarius in particular, and Gemini. But it doesn't have to be. Okay, and so I feel like you have been healing from this person. And um, there has been deception within the relationship. And so I feel like on an emotional level, you're emotionally defensive towards this person. Or there's trust issues here, okay? And so you're not really entire. This puts you in the Two of Swords, King of Swords. Well, they're in the King of Swords. Um, so I, I feel like you may choose not to communicate with this person because you don't feel, you feel like a need to protect yourself or protect your heart. Okay, because, and the reason why Pisces is you're in the overall sun energy. That's what trumps you for the month of May. So your focus is primarily on um, creating happiness, healing, being optimistic. Loving yourself. And judging by these cards, I feel like you didn't get that from this person. You feel they're very untrustworthy. This person might have been trying to wait, wait you out. Like... <laughs> Like, wait for you to be the first one to communicate, and then you didn't. And so now they're being kind of forced into a tower moment where they need to uh, shit or get off the pot. Excuse my language. <laughs> That's a saying that popped into my head. Shit or get off the pot. You know what I'm saying? But, um, <laughs> yeah. That's the first group of Pisces women. Second group, Pisces women. If you're in a relationship with this person, and remember, you can be in the first and the second group, particularly if you have a third party situation going on. Okay. So keep that in mind. Um, but take it as it resonates. You may be in just one of them. If you're in an actual relationship with this person, I feel like you see this person maybe stressing out about wanting to push things. Are things going a little too slow within the relationship? Or um, it's like it's slow to progress. For some of you, it's like a financial thing. Like this person is stressing about wanting to build up that portion of the relationship. You know what I'm saying? But um, for the rest of you, it's just... Yeah, they, they still give off this error of, you know, I know what I'm talking about. I know who I am. Nobody tells me how to make my decisions, <laughs> you know, but at the heart of it, this person's very uncertain, you know, they're very unsure. Um, and you see right through that, okay? Um, I feel like they view you as bringing them stability almost uh, on an emotional level okay I think they uh, th think very highly of you Pisces if you're in a relationship with this person now towards the end of the month if you are in a relationship like I said there's some difficult decisions that need to be made you know there's someone here who's on the defense this is a third person for some of you this is cheating there's a third person here um, that may be trying to come back in to your relationship. Um, for those of you it's not cheating, this might be a family member or a friend that created some havoc that you have your defenses up with, but yet they keep meddling and it causes strain here. I've been seeing this in Pisces readings for like ever. It's got to be a toxic family member because goodness gracious, why haven't you cut this person out of your life yet? <laughs> you know, I feel like if you were able to cut this person out of your life, you would. That's why I feel like it's, if it's not a cheating scenario, I feel like it's someone that is within the family structure. So I, I do feel like Pisces at the end of the month, you know, I, this person has been very patient with you. And Pisces women, I do feel like if it's a cheating scenario, it's you. 
It's you that's doing it. You have two different men here. For most of you. But because it's general, I have to say it can be interchangeable. Or you have two different men involved here. Okay. Um, if it's not cheating, like I said, it's either an air sign or a Scorpio that's meddling. But anyways, I feel like the person that is external to you, you know, I feel like they've tried to be patient with you. Uh, but at the same time, then they've been very cold. They've been very distant, judgmental, you know, and they're finally making the decision to, um, leave or you are in search of healing. So if it is a third party cheating scenario, somebody, there's going to be an ending to it by the end of the month. And in a way, this per, this brings about healing. It, it needs to end. Uh, I, you know it does. You know it does. Um, if this is other people meddling and it's not cheating, that's going to come to an end by the end of the month. And there's going to be healing there. It's just like, it's almost like the universe has had enough of this bullshit. <laughs> and so it's going to be torn down. You know, the ego will fall. The mask will come off. No doubt about it. You don't have the tower twice in a reading. And it's not within your control either, Pisces. So, um... Sometimes if we are refusing to change or the person you're dealing with or whoever's meddling is refusing to stop, karma comes in and it stops it for you. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's just how life works. But I feel like the result of this is healing and detachment, which is what needs to happen here. Okay, and actually Pisces, I think that regardless of all of this trauma going on, what is at the surface of it, surface, what is at the depth of that? Well, the depth of it is that at the end of the day, you just want to be happy. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like you're willing to let it fall so that you can be happy. Because this is a whole lot of BS right here. It's weighing down your energy. You know what I'm saying? All right, um, that was Pisces women, Pisces men. <laughs> I didn't forget you. Pisces women, same message to you. You, continue, you can continue to watch. You might get messages as well from this group because it's a general or may not. But before I move forward, Pisces women, you are probably dealing or most likely dealing with Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Gemini. Are the primary, Libra, are the primary zodiac signs I have out. And or that's somewhere in the chart. Um, but it doesn't have to be, it could just be the energy you're holding, okay? I'm actually going to take back the clarifiers. Um, Pis uh, Pisces men, Pisces men. I feel like, you know, you have a very um, independent energy this month, like I said. Um, I feel like the person that you're with, I hate to say this, do you feel like this person can be easily manipulated? Uh, Pisces, you're a water sign, and, and so you're a very intuitive sign, and therefore it is easy to sink into emotional manipulation because you see generally the true nature. So that's a caution, you know, and I don't mean that in a bad way. I'm just saying, you know that about this person. You feel like they stress too much um, and that they're gullible. <laughs> oh, now this person, Pisces men, they see uh, so much with you. They see potential happy family. 
they see fulfillment with you, they can see a future with you. That's a very contrasting difference in how you see each other. And that's why I'm saying caution. Okay. Now towards the end of the month, I feel like uh, don't be overly jealous, overly defensive. You know what I'm saying towards the end of the month, because there's a high likelihood that, that that's going to occur. Um, I feel like the reason being is that this person might have disappointed you in some form or fashion. Um, although I do feel you're coming out of that, but you're so guarded. You're so guarded, Pisces. How can you attain this happiness when you're walking around with a wall around you? You can't. But I feel like towards the end of the month, you're completely guarded emotionally. You might be emotionally detached, and I saw that at the beginning of the reading. So, you know, like attracts like. So I feel like this person's energy hardens up too towards the end of the month. So they may be a little bit spiteful towards you as well. You know, a little bit judgmental. I feel like they've lost their patience with you. And um, they may make a decision to do what's right for them and break it off. Move out for a few of you, not all of you, and or to, um, yeah, do something unexpected because what they want is emotional fulfillment. They want to feel hope and you're emotionally closed off to this person. I feel like they're sick of it. <laughs> Like, I feel this person is um, almost, like, borderline resentful towards you at this point. When what all they really wanted was to give you love, you know? But you might have your reasons for being on the defense. For a few of you, it's because this person lies, lies or has lied to you in the past. So don't get me wrong, I'm not saying this person's all in the right, Pisces. I can see that you have your reasons. For some of you, it's not this person, it's someone else from the past that ruined your trust in others, and you take it out on this person. And they're over here like, listen, dude, I just want to show you some love. <laughs> you know? Um... Yeah, so I guess the message is if you continue to stay closed off to this person, there's definitely going to be a tower moment for you. Um, you know, and I feel like this is going to make you feel emotionally defensive. And yet somehow that makes this person, this tower moment, feel emotionally hopeful. <laughs> How is that possible? I don't know. Like I said, some of them are literally going to leave and find hope elsewhere. Some of them are, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm going to say this. And I hope this is only for a few of you. Some of them are like happy things are going wrong with you because it gives them like an in to like, I'll help heal you. You know, and I don't feel like it's negative intentions. I just feel like this person really wants in your life. <laughs> That's why I'm going to be a few of you. Yeah. So. Very interesting. Like I said, the primary zodiac signs out are Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Scorpio, be Cancer Pisces or Leo are the primary zodiac signs I have out. If not, that's just the energy you're carrying this month. Either way, Pisces, um, I do wish you all the very best. 
And uh, please let me know how this resonated for you. Until next time, namaste. Bye.